Hey man, it's Sunday, July 11th, and we're putting the finishing touches on the battery here. I went to the hardware store, and lo and behold, they had a 10 millimeter by 1.5 stainless steel bolt. So we're good to go here. It's a little bit longer than the, the original, so that's cool. And um, I bought some of these, hold on, these things. Uh, these, they called 3 8 but they're kind of big. And then I bought some of these that they called 5 16 but they're kind of small for 5 16 And none of them fit. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the larger ones and I'm just cutting them off like that. And then when I jam it into that place, it's doing what it needs to do. All right, so I'm going to put a screw in that. I'm going to put one more here, and we're going to call that done. And uh, next, it'll be working on the lid. Oh, boy. So we got this all neatened up here. Um, this wire on the top is going up and over to the front of the bus from my chassis battery charger. And this one's feeding my 24 to 12 volt converter. Uh, we're still missing one circuit breaker to fill in that hole that's right there this is our new piece of plexiglass by the way no extra holes um, battery's done uh, we got some parameters that we want to set but for now what I want to do I want to uh, charge up my capacitors in the inverter so I got a light bulb here Let's see, that is positive. So if we connect this here, no, what's going on? That's negative, positive. That light should have come on to charge the capacitor. Oh, are we tripped? No, wait. Let's see, hold on, let me double check. That light should have come on to charge up the capacitors. All right, I figured out what it is, is the BMS is off. So we need to push the little button again. All right, that would be illuminated. BMS are on. All right, let's make sure we got nothing touching here. All right. So, push this button. There. Ah, I heard that click. And those lights came on down there. So now we've got power. All right. Set that to the side. So now, I want to charge up my capacitors. This light will illuminate until the capacitor is charged because it puts the light bulb in series, acts like a resistor. Let's see. Here, current is flowing into the capacitors, charging, and when they get fully charged, the light turns off. All right. Now we can hook this up and we won't get a big spark. Not a bing. All right, I need two hands. All right, so uh, let's turn this guy on and not a bing. We are inverting. that. I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. Oh, now we're charging. It's bulk charge, that one. So uh, I got my heat shrink put on here and I'm looking for a method. I'm sure that this has got the capabilities because we've got all these auxiliary outputs and whatnot here. I wanna 
hook up an auxiliary fan to this thing. So whenever the fan on this thing turns on, um, it'll run the fan and I'm gonna put it right here. So it'll um, pull air from inside the bus and put it into this area to help keep this guy cool because we're quite a captive space here. Um, I just don't have a fan and got to figure out how to work all that stuff. So that's going to come later. Another thing I want to do, and I might even do that today because um, there's plenty of time left. Now that I've gotten here, I got lights again and I can work through the night. But uh, I want to hook up the temperature sense on this so I can program this guy to not charge my battery when we're below threshold on the temperature. Because right now, I don't believe I have anything preventing this from charging in uh, extremely cold weather. Ain't going to happen anytime soon because we're in Florida. But uh, I've got the sensor. It came with this. Uh, all i got to do is connect it two wires to this and the other end to a negative. And I can tie it into my negative bus bolt, which is right there. So let's see if I can close the lid and how it looks. It's a thing of beauty. I love it. The only thing missing is my solar battery charger and all the solar on the roof, of course, to go with it. We've got 12 volts throughout the bus. We've got 120 volts throughout the bus. Oh my gosh, the battery is already screwed in, attached to the bus along the bottom here and got four screws two on each side in the back Ugh. all right so what's left i gotta attach the chassis ground from this to the chassis on the bus there's a stud down there and i'm gonna have to run a wire through the floor don't know exactly where I'm going to do that and how I'm going to do that yet, but uh, that's coming. There's also, I forget what you call it, a dongle, I don't know. Uh, it's a device that allows this to communicate via Bluetooth to the uh, Victron Connect app. So I don't have to um, uh, use the computer. Um, the computer um, interface, MK3 I think it is, uses a network cable and uh, I understand that that gives you more parameters than the uh, wireless Bluetooth version but I'm opting for the Bluetooth version so I can use my phone to monitor how the battery is going I don't particularly care to have uh, I don't know what the name of it is but the big display unit that's real cute and pretty um, I the way I'm looking at it is once this is set up this is a set it and forget it kind of thing. And I'm gonna look at it for a while um, when it's new. But from that point on, it's just gonna work. So um, that's my plan and I'm sticking with it.